In this video, we will go over the DST Pro system and its features. We will cover both the DST Pro and the DST Triple Pro, since they only have mild differences in regards to the software. Throughout this video, whenever I say PT, I mean physiotherapist or any other physician in your clinic. So let's begin. On the desktop, you will find a shortcut to the software. The first login should be done by the administrator, who has wider permissions than other users. If you are not the administrator, you can jump forward to this timecode. We provided you with initial login details. You can find them on the cover of your user guide, which is located on the main pillar of the device. First, you should edit your institution's information. Type your institution's name, address, and name of manager. In the right column, you can insert up to three emails. Whenever one of your PTs sends a patient's progress chart, it will arrive to the emails you list here. Here is also where you can control the measurement unit in the system, centimeters or inches. Clicking on the V button will save all changes and take you back to the main page. The next step is to add or edit PTs. Please note that while all PTs can add their own patients, only the administrator can add PTs. You can see here a table of all existing PTs with their assigned username, password, and list of patients. Double-click on the details of a specific PT will allow you to edit his or her information. Click V to save all changes. You can easily add a PT by clicking here, filling their info and assigning them a username and password. You can also move patients from PT to PT by dragging the patient to the designated PT. If you want to delete a PT, simply click here and select the right PT from the list. Please note that if the PT has patients, you will first need to assign them to another PT before deleting them. You can download all patients' performances on the DST here. This is useful if you are conducting a study and needs all recorded data, or if you need to evaluate all patients' progress. Select where you wish to save the file and press OK. We recommend that you change the administrator password from the initial password we provided. Last on the menu is the important act of calibration. You should calibrate the system after the initial installation and after each time you move the device. This helps the system to align itself with the embedded sensors in the device. Now let's log in as a PT to start working with patients. Use the username and password issued to you by the administrator. We should first add patients. You can choose a pathology from the list or mark other and write your own text. Now we can start practicing. Select Choose a Patient. On the left, you can see a list of your patients. On the right, there is a list of all other patients in the system. This allows you to practice patients even though they are not your own. Please note that while you can practice other patients, you cannot delete them or edit their information. Choose the relevant patient. To start the session, click here. This is the patient's personal progress chart, and it is the heart of this software. If you have the DST Pro, you will see data for stairs and parallel bar practice. If you have the DST Triple Pro, as in this case, you will see data for stairs, slope, and parallel bar practice. Let's view this screen. We have the patient's name, PT's name, current stair height and slope degree, and the time it took the patient to go up and down on the last practice. Each session is recorded by its date. The orange graph represents stair practice, while the blue graph represents slope practice. For example, you can see that on April 7th, the patient climbed stairs of 3 centimeters. 
Above, you can see the time it took the patient to go up and down the stairs. On May 2nd, the patient climbed a slope of 12 degrees, and it took him 10 seconds to go up and 6 seconds to go down. After five sessions, the system will automatically produce the DSD factor, a unique parameter summarizing the patient's current status and estimated future improvement potential. For more information on the DSD factor, please see the user guide or visit our website. In its flat position, the DST is parallel bars, either 1.5 or 3 meters long, depending on your model. Here you can see how long it took the patient to walk the parallel bars in each session. In order to record patient's practice, press Start. The recording of the data will automatically stop when the patient will exit the device. If you want to send patient's progress chart, either to file, discuss in a meeting, or present to a third person, press here. The chart will be sent to the emails previously defined by the administrator. If you go back from the personal progress chart, you can either edit patient's info or delete the patient. At any time, you can click on the Home button to log out of the system. This is all for now. For additional information, please see the user guide or visit our website. If you want to make personal adjustment in the system to better meet your institution's needs, contact us at info at dpemed.com. From all of us at DPE Medical, I wish you a safe and effective practice.